Greetings everyone, welcome back to the Investing Iguana, where we delve into everything from personal finance to investing, with a focus on Singapore. I'm your host, Iggy, and in today's session, we'll be discussing CPF Life, standing for CPF Lifelong Income for the Elderly. It's a national longevity insurance annuity scheme designed to provide monthly payouts for the rest of your life, ensuring financial stability in your retirement years. Before we dive deep into the specifics of CPF Life, I'd like to encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your support is a great motivator and enables me to continue producing content like this. If you have any queries or thoughts about CPF Life or other personal finance and investment topics, do leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to respond. So, what is CPF Life and why is it beneficial? As you might already know, CPF stands for Central Provident Fund, a compulsory savings scheme for all working Singaporeans and permanent residents. CPF comprises four accounts, Ordinary Account, OA, Special Account, SA, Medisave Account, MA, and Retirement Account, RA. Each account serves a different purpose, has a different interest rate, and can be utilized for various needs like housing, healthcare, education, and retirement. When you turn 55, a minimum sum known as the Full Retirement Sum, FRS, needs to be set aside in your RA. This sum, adjusted annually for inflation, is currently $186,000 for those turning 55 in 2021. Alternatively, you can choose to reserve a higher amount, up to $279,000, termed the Enhanced Retirement Sum, ERS, if you desire higher monthly payouts during retirement. Conversely, if you own property and pledge it to CPF, you can set aside a lower sum, $93,000, known as the Basic Retirement Sum, BRS. Upon reaching your payout eligibility age, PEA, currently 65, the funds in your RA will be used to enroll you in CPF Life. You can choose to start receiving payouts anytime between 65 and 70, with higher payouts for later start dates. Once the payouts begin, they will continue for the rest of your life, ensuring you don't outlive your savings or need to rely on others for financial support in your retirement. CPF Life is not just a scheme, but a tool for retirement planning, offering attractive benefits. First, it's a secure product offering high returns. Your CPF Life savings are guaranteed by the Singapore government, eliminating the risk of loss or scams. Additionally, you earn a high, risk-free interest of up to 6% per annum on your RA balance, significantly higher than most bank deposits or bonds. Compared to private sector annuities, CPF Life offers assured returns unaffected by market fluctuations. Second, it's more cost-effective than private annuity plans. As a non-profit scheme administered by the CPF Board, CPF Life avoids costs from advertising and agents' commissions, enabling better distribution of longevity risks and costs over a large member base. Consequently, CPF Life offers better value for money than other retirement income products. Third, CPF Life is an insurance product, not an investment one. Unlike investment products designed to increase wealth, insurance products protect us from life's uncertainties. CPF Life ensures lifelong payouts, providing financial stability and peace of mind in retirement, rather than aiming to make us rich or leave a large inheritance. So how do you choose the CPF Life plan that suits you best? There are three CPF Life plans available, Escalating Plan, Standard Plan, and Basic Plan. Each has unique features and trade-offs to suit different needs and preferences. Introduced in 2020, the Escalating Plan offers payouts that start. The three CPF Life plans are A. CPF Life Standard Plan. This is the default plan that provides a higher level of monthly payouts while leaving a lower bequest. At age 55, you set aside the full retirement sum in your retirement account. From age 65 onwards, you receive monthly payouts. If you pass away at 75, your bequest will be a certain amount. If you pass away at 81 or later, there will be no bequest left. B. CPF Life Basic Plan This plan gives a lower monthly payout but leaves a higher bequest. Note that the payout under the basic plan will get progressively lower when your combined CPF balances eventually fall below $60,000.
This is because the extra interest is earned on the first $60,000 of your combined CPF balances, which are credited to the retirement account, RA, and paid as part of your monthly payouts. As balances fall due to payouts, the extra interest earned and subsequent payouts will also decline. At age 55, you set aside the full retirement sum in your retirement account. From age 65 onwards, you receive monthly payouts. If you pass away at 75, your bequest will be a certain amount. If you pass away at 92 or later, there will be no bequest left. See CPF Life Escalating Plan. This plan provides payouts that increase by 2% each year so that CPF members can generally maintain their standard of living even as prices rise over the years. At age 55, you set aside the full retirement sum in your retirement account. From age 65 onwards, you receive monthly payouts. This makes the starting payout lower compared to both the standard plan and the basic plan. If you pass away at 75, your bequest will be a certain amount. If you pass away at 82 or later, there will be no bequest left. Assuming you live till age 95 and beyond, the CPF Life Escalating Plan gives you the highest payout because the annual 2% increment in payout becomes valuable. However, if you pass away at age 75, the total amount received is lower compared to the other two plans. When it comes to choosing between the three CPF life plans, you need to think about your preferences and needs for your retirement income. Do you want a higher monthly payout from the start, or are you willing to start with a lower payout that grows over time? Do you want to leave more money for your loved ones when you pass away, or are you more concerned about having enough income for yourself? Do you expect to live longer than average, or are you unsure about your life expectancy? These questions will help you decide which plan is best for you. Let me give you some examples based on the full retirement sum, FRS, of $186,000 as of 2021 and the payout eligibility age, PEA, of 65. If you choose the standard plan, you will get the highest and fixed monthly payout of $1,478 to $1,635. This means that you can enjoy a comfortable and stable retirement lifestyle from the start, but your payouts will not increase with inflation. You will also leave a smaller bequest of $94,945 to $98,724 if you pass away at 75. If you live beyond 81, there will be no bequest left. If you choose the basic plan, you will get a lower and variable monthly payout of $1,345 to $1,491. This means that you can still afford a decent retirement lifestyle, but your payouts will decrease over time as your CPF balances fall below $60,000. You will also leave a larger bequest of $201,311 to $213,184 if you pass away at 75. If you live beyond 92, there will be no bequest left. If you choose the escalating plan, you will get the lowest but increasing monthly payout of $1,162 to $1,297. This means that you may have to adjust your retirement lifestyle in the beginning, but your payouts will rise by 2% every year to cope with inflation. You will also leave a moderate bequest of $118,697 to $123,406 if you pass away at 75. If you live beyond 82, there will be no bequest left. As you can see, each plan has its pros and cons depending on how long you live and how much money you need in retirement. Generally speaking, the standard plan is suitable for those who want to maximize their income in the early years of retirement and are confident of living longer than average. The basic plan is suitable for those who want to leave more money for their family and have other sources of income or savings in retirement. The escalating plan is suitable for those who are worried about inflation and want to maintain their purchasing power in the later years of retirement. Of course, these are just illustrations based on some assumptions and may not reflect your actual situation. You should also consider other factors such as your health condition, family history, and personal goals when choosing a CPF life plan. To help you make an informed decision, you can use the CPF Life Estimator tool on the CPF website to calculate your estimated monthly payouts based on your RA balance, PEA, and chosen plan. You can also view some payout examples for different scenarios and compare them side by side. Alternatively, you can visit any CPF service center or call their hotline at 
to speak to a customer service officer who can assist you with your queries. The Escalating Plan is the newest addition to the CPF Life Scheme and was introduced in 2020. This plan gives you payouts that start low but increase by 2% every year to keep up with inflation. This means that your payouts will have more purchasing power in the future and you won't feel the pinch of rising costs of living. However, the downside is that your initial payouts will be much lower than the other two plans and it will take about 20 years for them to catch up. So this plan is suitable for those who are confident that they can live long enough to enjoy the benefits of the increasing payouts and who have other sources of income or savings to supplement their retirement needs in the early years. The standard plan is the default plan for most CPF members and is also the most popular choice. This plan gives you payouts that are fixed and do not change over time. This means that your payouts will be higher than the escalating plan in the beginning, but lower than the escalating plan in the later years. However, the advantage is that you get a steady and predictable income that you can budget and plan for. So this plan is suitable for those who want to maximize their payouts in the early years of retirement and who are comfortable with adjusting their spending habits to cope with inflation. The basic plan is the least preferred option among CPF members and is also the least generous. This plan gives you payouts that are partly fixed and partly variable. The fixed portion is based on your RA balance and interest earned, while the variable portion is based on a refundable premium that will be returned to your beneficiaries when you pass away. This means that your payouts will be lower than the other two plans, but you will leave behind a larger bequest for your loved ones. However, the drawback is that you may not have enough income to sustain your retirement lifestyle, and you may end up depending on others for financial assistance. So this plan is suitable for those who prioritize leaving a legacy for their family and who have other sources of income or savings to support their retirement needs. So how do you decide which plan is best for you? Well, there is no one-size-fits-all answer as it depends on your personal circumstances and preferences. But here are some tips that you may want to consider. Think about your retirement goals and lifestyle. What are your needs and wants in retirement? How much money do you need to spend on your basic necessities and leisure activities? How do you plan to cope with inflation and rising costs of living? Estimate your life expectancy. How long do you expect to live based on your health condition and family history? How confident are you of living longer than average? Do you have any chronic diseases or genetic risks that may affect your lifespan? Consider your legacy wishes. How important is it for you to leave money for your loved ones when you pass away? How much money do you want to leave for them? Do you have any other assets or insurance policies that can provide for them? Compare the different CPF life plans. Use the CPF life estimator tool or the payout examples to see how much monthly payouts and bequests you can expect from each plan based on your RA balance and PEA. Consider the trade-offs between higher payouts, higher bequests, and higher inflation protection. Seek professional advice. If you are still unsure or have any questions about CPF life or retirement planning in general, you can consult a financial planner or a CPF customer service officer who can guide you through the process and help you make an informed decision. So there you have it folks, everything you need to know about CPF life and how to choose the best plan for you. I hope this video has been helpful and informative for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who may benefit from it too. Also, are you aware of the recent changes in Singapore's financial landscape? The government has introduced new policies regarding CPF and SRS, and these changes could have a significant impact on your financial future. The Singapore government's new policies on CPF and SRS offer unique opportunities for individuals to secure their retirement and maximize their savings. It's crucial to understand the intricacies of these policies and how they can work in your favor. By taking action now, you can position yourself for a more comfortable and financially stable future. In the next video, we will dive deep into these policies, providing you with valuable insights and strategies to make the most of them. Just click on the link at the top right to access the video immediately. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give us a like to show your appreciation. It helps us know what kind of content you find useful and valuable. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Here at The Investing Iguana, we're passionate about helping you achieve your financial goals with ease and peace of mind. 
and we have a lot more to share with you. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we'll explore other important financial topics like how to use CPF and SRS to boost your retirement savings, how to invest wisely and safely in the stock market, and how to make your money grow faster and smarter. We're so grateful to have you as part of our Investing Iguana family. Your support enables us to keep creating free content like this. Remember, every like, share, and subscribe makes a difference. Thanks for watching today. Keep investing, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.